Have you ever dug around in your tackle box looking for that perfect bait to turn your day around, that perfect summer lure? Well, before you do that, we need to think about four tactics that you can use to help put you on fish before you find that right lure. Number one is to think about the current, especially wind generated current. During the summer months, those hot dog days, I think that current is probably the number one factor that we really need to pay attention to. It does several important things for us. One, it oxygenates the water, and when those temperatures get really hot, that's a critical factor that pulls fish into an area. And the other thing that that current does is it gets the food chain activated. I remember being on Lake Norfolk one time when I was fishing with a friend in the uh, late summer and I said what are we gonna do today and he said the number one thing is we're looking for wind blown banks he didn't worry about structure and or cover until we found a part of the lake where the wind was pounding into it and we had a great day catching fish when the temperatures were sky high and the other thing that following the current can do is it often leads us to fish in areas that we've never fished before Number two is to find panfish. This strategy works for me all through the year, but especially in the summertime. The first thing that I do when I pull up to a body of water is I look in the shallows. Do I see lots of panfish shallow or not? If there are, well, that tells me I'm probably going to start shallow, and then I will focus on those really shady areas made by overhanging brush docks or the shadows cast from the sun as it moves through the sky. But if I scan the shallows and there's just not many panfish there, well, that tells me I either need to fish a little bit deeper or a little bit farther offshore so follow those panfish and you're going to find bass and if you happen to have electronics they're very easy to pick out because they will stack in a vertical column you may have panfish spread out from a foot of water down to eight or nine foot of water just in a straight column and if you don't have electronics or you're fishing from the shore look for a couple things see if you can see uh, panfish flicking the surface out there away from the bank a little ways or see where the birds are circling or see where there's other sorts of activity going on number three for a summertime tactic and one of my favorites is don't slow down until you find one and that doesn't necessarily mean we have to be power fishing but instead, think about finesse fishing with a purpose. Use those finesse lures to search for bass the best that we can. I like to use the power shot, which is just a drop shot with a heavier weight. It gets that lure down to depth quickly. I don't have to wait for it to fall. Therefore, I can cover water. I also love to drag Ned rigs and drag shaky heads as well. And once you catch one, really investigate that area. Even if it's a 10 or 12 inch fish, oftentimes those smaller bass are the first ones to hit. And if you found a larger school, there could be two, three or four pounders down there as well. So don't dismiss that small fish and really work that area carefully before you move on. And number four is one that we talk about all the time here on the channel, and that is back off the bank a little bit. Sounds so easy, but it's so difficult difficult to do. So often we're sitting right over the top of the fish. If you're shore angling, make sure that you make those extra long casts. Get those lures out there as far as we can. And when you're thinking offshore, it doesn't necessarily mean deep. And the other area that you want to try to check if you have them in your body of water are flats. But those areas are often left alone by anglers there's less pressure and the bass will really pull up onto them. When you find them, there's a good chance you're going to be one of just a few anglers that are out there fishing for them. And usually those bass that are off the bank are a little bit more willing to bite. And now that you've gone through these four summer bass fishing tactics, now you can go around and dig up your favorite lure that matches that particular presentation. And hey, if you want to watch a video that talks about a new way or a different approach to your wacky rigs and drop shot lures, something that we can do with our soft plastics that once again will make you stand out, go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. 
for the Bass Fishing Life. I'm your host, Steve Rogers.